Hi, welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. Last tutorial we looked at friend and method. Um, what we're going to look at, look at is a friend class. And to do that we're going to create another class. And the friendship class is going to be the friend class to the new class we're going to um, create. And so what we're going to do is create a new class. Oops, sorry, wrong. 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 what we're going to call it file class ok there's a the file class and there's a the friendship class and so what we want to do is we want to put a private member um, inside file class and so private So no data and make that an integer. Just to the end. So what we've got is personal data and it's private. So you should be able to access it from outside the class and you should normally need to get in set methods. But this is really easy if we to go to if we go to um no if we just type so if we just type in um, friend keyboard again class pal class that's all we need to do no no um, no it's not pal it's friendship sorry phone class and did yeah I think I named the, the class Class has got to be like by convention um, a capital letter. So what I'm going to do is delete that and do it again. But so this is a capital letter. I'm going to change it. No, I'm just going to change it to capital letter. So type in friend. I spelled it wrong. Friendship class. So friendship class is now a friend of this class, which means friendship can access the data inside file class. So what we're going to access, we're going to access the data. That we're going to access friendship is going to access this personal data. Right, so if we go to the, the friendship class, um, we've already done the, the friendship method, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a, cl a, um, a PAL class method, just call it anything. Um, you can use any name you want, so and we're going to say void, and so that's us got the signature, so now we've got to put the code inside it, and so, so what we need to do is void, no, this is like the friendships. I save this. If I save this, we'll get the new, new method. And there's a the pal. And so, what we want to do now is we want to um, put some code in. And so, what we're going to do is just print out the, the personal data variable. way we would do that we would create and we would create an object of pal it's pal class pal class and we 
would need to include, I think. data okay so when when we call this method it should actually print out from this class it should be able to print out the private data member from this class and so what we need to do is FC, we've already created an object dot pal method. So this is going to access the the personal data from the pal class if it works. Type. I hope that's just what it is. Okay, and there seems to be a problem with this. Right, what it's saying is multiple markers. You say we've not included the file when we get that pal class. And not in scope, usually you've got to have this in place. So, power class void. Right, I had a problem um, with the class, it was like power, power class, but I've done a small p instead of a, a capital p, and it, it did create problems. And I was trying to change rename it and it wouldn't accept it so I deleted them and tried to create the classes again and it kept saying that the classes already existed so I couldn't do it so I created a new one and instead of pal class it's pals class and so it's the same data inside it and so what we've got is personal data as an integer friend class is friendship class which is this class here and inside the pal class we don't have anything at all but what we'll do is the personal data oh, it's a small p equals 56 and so now we've assigned a value to it um, and so if we go if we go to the friendship definition and so now we've got a friend void well right, that's a method that's a method sorry get mixed up so we come here what we've done here is is we've we've created a method if we go back there we've created a method called pal class method and this pal class method is going to access the pals class private member and we defined the f that method here and you can see it's like friendship class colon colon pal class method and what we've inside here we've created an instance created an object of pal class pals class pc and all we've done is pc dot personal data this is a private member but we're going to we're going to um, access this private member from this class because it's a friendship class. And so so if I compile and run the program, C 
see if it changes here. Yes. It should look. Yep, 70. But this number here, that's junk, that's like memory patients if we've not signed, assigned anything to it. Um, and so we need to find out why. Personal data. So personal data is not assigned there. We went to the constructor and we said personal data is equal to 56. So it should be 56. What we'll do is we'll go to here first and we'll go PC dot personal data equals 67 and we'll save. Maybe we didn't save the constructor. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe this wasn't saved. Put one there, save. And we've still got junk. It's a private member, it's showing me that it's private. It took me a wee while there. It's like I was passing the wrong argument. Um, I was passing the FC um, to PAL class method. And it was in here that I was doing. I was passing the wrong argument. It's like I wasn't passing that argument here. I've changed it all. Forgot where I was. FC is supposed to go in there. PAL. I think I had um, friendship class here. I'm not too sure what I changed. Um, but what it is, is it. This one here. Uh, what it is? Friendship class is a friendly class. So we can, what we're saying is it can access the friendship if it wants to. So we created a PAL class method um, which takes the object of PAL class. So everything's going to go into here. Then we defined it and we said it was from friendship class and it was pal class method and it took the object of pal class and so on called it pc so pc equals 67 we changed it to 67 and then we printed the alt to screen and so to show you that's what's happened it will do 674 and come down the program 674 is printed to screen and so if we take this away and just print all the data it will be what we've changed in the constructor number one we've got in the moment because I changed it again it took a wee while to find out what was wrong and once passed so if we change if we change the number in the constructor to 234, right, 1234, save. So maybe that's private data in a different class. So there you go. And so, so that is a friendly class, which you're all into to, to your private data members which is not very secure, it's not object oriented programming and but it will be useful if you know what you're doing. Um, I don't know what I would use it for. It's because you can use the get and set methods to do things. So but that's that's um with you that's your I've given you like friendly method and friendly class. And so so hope it's been of some use and if it if just one person has helped him it's worthwhile. So thank you.